Say hi to Bagisto Visual, the awesome visual editor that changes the way you create and customize your e-commerce store. You won't have to mess with code for every little change anymore. With Bagisto Visual, you can design, edit, and personalize your store right in your browser, all in real time. So first, I will let you know how to install Bagisto Visual and how to implement it into your Bagisto storefront. So first, I will show you what our storefront looks like without the visual extension. Without visual, our storefront appears basic, and in the admin panel, there is no option for visual customization or previewing. After adding this visual extension, the entire storefront functionality will change. It adds multiple features, enabling drag and drop functionality for merchants. This makes it easier for users to implement any changes. Without wasting time, let's go to Git repository of Bagisto Visual. From there, you can clone the repository or download the zip file. I will download the zip file from the file manager and extract it to the same folder where I have extracted my previous files. Once extracted, you'll find the test folder. I'll now go to Visual Studio. From there, I'll select the folder and open it. Now, you need to paste some commands provided in the README file of Visual as well as in the documentation section. I will show you where to find those commands. The first command to install Visual into your system is Composer Require Bagisto plus Visual. I'll copy this command, go to my Visual Studio terminal and paste it there. Then I'll press Enter. At this point, you may get an error. Don't worry, go to the Composer, Juice and File, scroll down and change the minimum stability from Stable to Dev. That's it. Save the file, go back to the terminal and paste the command again. As you can see, multiple dependencies will begin to download. This process takes a little time, so be patient. After that, go to the documentation section of Visual again and copy the next command, which is PHP Artisan. I'll go back and paste this command. Then I will copy another command, which is step two for Visual Debut. Now I will go back and copy another command and paste it into the terminal. Once that's done, it means the implementation is successful. Now I need to go to step five, which is the final step of implementing Visual Debut. So I will paste the final command here. You can select your own, but I will select Visual Debut, and press Enter. After that, you will receive a successful message, which means it has been implemented. Now I will show you how our storefront admin panel looks. I will refresh it, and as you can see, Visual has been implemented into our storefront. Without wasting time, I will proceed and click on the preview. This is what your storefront will look like after implementing Visual. Next, I will customize it and show you the multiple functionalities. I will click on the Customize button. After clicking the button, I will go to the left side of the screen, click on a section, and you can see that multiple sections are available to configure. You can change the functionality of each section one by one. I will start with the announcement bar. You can change the text being displayed. I will paste free shipment on orders above $50. I can also provide a link to the product. I've added the link to the shipment policy. You can see the change implemented in real time. After modifying the announcement bar, the updated text, free shipment, is now visible and linked to the shipment policy. I can also change the background variant to standard. After applying this, the background and text color change. I can also choose options like an ancient or natural. Let me click on ancient to show you what it looks like. So, from the announcement section, you can manage everything. Text, link, background variation, and color. For example, I will choose the velocity color scheme and demonstrate the impact. After selecting it, the announcement bar changes accordingly. Moving on, I'll modify the header section. From the header section, you can upload a logo for your storefront, including the mobile view logo. Any changes you make are reflected in real time. For example, if I push the element to the start, it moves accordingly. If I click, end, it adjusts again. You can manage these settings based on your needs and review them in real time to see their effect. Now, I'll go to the navigation section. From here, you can navigate to your top category and choose whether it should appear at the start, middle, or end. Moving forward to the currency section, note that no configuration is allowed in this section. Similarly, in the language section, you can change the language icon based on your preference. For example, I'm selecting a specific icon for the language. As you can see, the language icon is being changed. Moving forward, from the search option, you can change the search icon as well. For instance, I am selecting anything just as an example. So, as you can see, the search icon is also being changed. From the search option, you can change the image icon as well. 
you can see the image icon being displayed here. After changing the image icon, our storefront will look like this. So, you can see that the image icon is also changed from the header section. Moving forward, you can change the compare option icon as well. In the header section, you can change the icon and the text provided according to your needs. You can manage your header section easily. For example, you can change the text of the guest login. Let's say I use guest user. You can provide a custom description as well. You can even change the icon for the guest user. Click on select, then preview it. From here, you can see that the guest icon has also been changed. Go back to the header section and preview the cart. You can also change the shopping cart heading text. For example, you can set it to get up to 50% off on your first order. You can change the description as well, so it's very easy to manage and preview changes in real time. You can also shift elements up or down as needed. For example, if I shift the cart preview here, the change can be seen instantly. So, from the last position, it becomes the third item in the cart preview section. Moving forward, I will go to the template section. From here, the template banner can be changed. The text displayed can also be updated. You can change the heading text and the subheading text. For example, discover the best products. You can preview these changes in real time. Button text can also be changed. You can provide a link for the button so that if someone clicks it, they will be redirected to that page. You can also change the button variant to standard and preview the update in real time. After changing it to the standard, the button will appear like this. Moving forward, I will go to the category section. In the category section, you can change the category text. You can toggle it up or down. After implementing the changes, you can preview them. From the category heading section, you can change the heading and adjust its size. Make it larger or smaller. After implementing all changes, go to the home page. You will see that since I toggled it upwards, the section now appears first and another one appears second. You can increase or decrease the number of columns displayed on desktop or mobile. If I choose two columns, then only two will be displayed on the storefront. You can change the layout based on the mobile view as well. For mobile, the category section will look like this, meaning only one column will be displayed for mobile users. If I make it two, you can see that it is being displayed as two columns in one row. After implementing all these changes, you have to click on Publish again. Once published, you can see all the changes that have been made. This is how it looks in mobile view. And this is the desktop view. Since I have selected two columns in a row, only two columns are being displayed here. Moving forward to our featured product section, we can provide the heading as new product and also add a subheading like check out our latest product. You can also change the description. Additionally, you can choose how many products to show in the featured product section. Since we have three products in the back end for this section, you can enable some of them as featured products from the catalog section. Just go to the product page and enable the toggle for that product to mark it as featured, then save it. Now, move back to the visual section and click on Customize. Go to the featured product section and you'll see that one more product has been added. That's it for the featured product section. You can enable or disable it, increase or decrease the number of displayed products, and so on. If I select only one product to be displayed, then only one will appear. You can set the quantity, heading, and rating according to your needs, then click Publish again. Now let's move to the newsletter section. From here, you can choose the color according to your preference. For example, I will choose Velocity, and after applying it, you can see the theme of the newsletter section has changed. You can also change the heading and description of this newsletter section in real time. Any changes you make will be reflected immediately. You can also change the theme to a darker one. After making it dark, click Publish again to see the updated view. The newsletter section will look like this in dark mode. Moving forward, you can add multiple other sections to your storefront. For example, if you add a contact section, just click Publish, and you can see how it looks on your storefront's home page. You can also add more product sections. For instance, I will add a feature icon section. After adding it, click Publish to see the changes it makes to the storefront. Once added, you can manage what will be displayed in the heading of this section. You can change it in real time. I'll go ahead and change it now. You can also provide a subheading and increase the icon size. All these updates will reflect in real time. You can set how many columns should appear in one row on the desktop view. I'll choose four. You can also choose a layout style such as icon top, text below or icon left, text right. 
I've selected the layout as icon left, text right. After publishing, you'll see the changes on the home page. Since I selected icon left and text right, the layout has changed accordingly. You can add more sections like the newsletter section, hero banner section, and contact section. These have already been added. You can now add the category section. After adding it, click publish and visit the home page again to see the effect. After adding the category list, you can also provide a heading for that section. You can change the size of the heading. You can make it larger, medium, or smaller. These changes are seen in real time. You can also select the number of columns in one row. So if I select two, then only two columns will be displayed in one row. For now, in mobile view, you can select it. You can see that only two columns are displayed. If I set it to one, only one category column will be displayed. I have set the default to two. After making all the changes, click on Publish. Moving forward, I will add the Layout Footer section. I'll click on it. You can change the heading according to your needs. You can also change the description. As you can see, the changes are being implemented in real time. You can also select and add social links. After enabling all these changes, you have to click on Publish. After adding all the sections, our store point will look like this. You can go to the footer section to see how the footer will look. You can change the heading, description, and several other things. Moving forward, I will go to the settings of this visual editor. From the settings, you can change the color theme. For example, I will set it to Velocity. Choose the color and click on Publish. Then I'll click on Home Pages. After choosing the font size, our store font will appear accordingly. After changing the color, I can also change the typography, meaning which font we want to use. For example, if I select a specific font and click Publish, you will see that the font of the text has been updated accordingly. Moving forward, I can choose the size of the border radius and the border width. For example, if I select specific settings for the button and choose a circular shape with a particular border width in pixels, then click Publish, you will notice that all buttons become rounded. From here also, everything appears rounded and the border radius is applied. In the input section, I can change the input height. For example, if I set the height to 22 pixels and the border radius to 3, 5 pixels, then select a square shape and click Publish, you will see the changes on the home page. The input becomes square shaped and the height and border settings are applied according to your inputs. Moving to the box section, the box width can also be increased or decreased as per your needs. For example, I set the width to 4 pixels and selected the circle shape. After publishing and going to the home page, you will see that the box which was square earlier is now in an oval shape. Based on your input, the box shape is updated accordingly. You can also provide social media links. According to your need, paste your profile link here. If someone clicks on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, or TikTok icons, they will be redirected to your respective social media pages. You can provide your URLs in this section. Moving forward to the general tab, if you want to enable the admin bar at the front of your store, you can enable it from here. After enabling and publishing it, go to the home page, and you will see that the visual link to the admin panel is now attached here. From here, you can change the category page according to your needs. From the category page, you can make changes for the tablet view. For example, you can set it so that only two products are displayed. For mobile view, if you choose one product, only one product will be displayed. If you select two products, then two products from a category will be shown. For tablet view, if you select four products to be displayed, then you will see that four products have been displayed in your category. You can also enable or disable the filter option from here. The filter option can be removed or displayed. You can also choose whether to show sorting options or not. These options can be made visible or set as default according to your needs. The category banner can also be removed or enabled as needed. You can provide a heading for your category. After providing the heading, you need to click on Publish and then go to the category pages. You will then see that Shop by Category is written there. Finally, I will move to the product page. From the product page, you can change the appearance of the product page in the storefront. Product reviews, the number of reviews shown, and ratings can all be customized according to your needs. Many more changes can be performed in the product section as well. After enabling all the changes, you need to click on Publish. Once published, the final look of the storefront will be visible. For now, that's it. This is still the beginning phase of the Bagisto visual. Multiple additional features will be added to it in the future. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel.
and hit the bell icon for the latest update.